Hey guys, Jeff Gibby here. I'm in the uh, Metastock studio today. Want to talk to you a little bit about a product we've been working on. It's a really cool product. Uh, I've been working with it uh, with Wendy Kirkland, and um, so I'm going to spend a couple minutes talk a little bit about it, show you a little bit what about what it is, and kind of give you an idea of whether or not it's going to be suitable for you. So thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us or me, and uh, we'll be happy to answer those for you. Uh, Wendy Kirkland, uh, well-known name in the industry. She's been in it for a really, really long time and very, very well-liked and well-respected among her peers and her students and that kind of stuff. I absolutely love Wendy's uh, backstory. You know, she was running a gift shop, um, ended up getting flooded, had to figure out something else, and so she went into trading, and she was really, really good at it. And, you know, she's been doing that for a really long time. She's trained a lot of students and um, is very, very well respected. And those are the type of people we want to work with here at Metastock. So we've been working with her to take the methods that she uses to trade and put them uh, make them available in Metastock uh, for you to use. So uh, the name of the product is the Automated Swing Trader. And um, well, a very unique product. It kind of has a four-step methodology about it. It's basically kind of the four key concepts that I hope to kind of demonstrate today. So it's going to help you find stocks with high profit potential. Um, it's going to identify stocks that are at a turning point, uh, which are e either they're overbought and oversold. They're going to actually, she uses a, another indicator to notify you when that trend has begun. And it has a confirmation indicator called the Kirkland oscillator that actually shows you, uh, it's actually specifically designed to help you keep you out of the market when it's sideways and uh, protect you a little bit from whipsaw. So it's a very straightforward strategy, works really, really well, and I kind of want to show you how it works and how it works inside the Metastock program. So let's go ahead and jump over there uh, into Metastock and we'll kind of talk to you a little bit about this. This is Alphabet, formerly known as Google, and um, uh, just kind of pulled this up. It looked like a really, really good example. So well, we're gonna go ahead and go with this one, okay? This is the, the template that I'm looking at is what we call our, there's, uh, the full template. There's actually two. There's a clean template and a full template. Uh, but what I want to do is I want to be able to kind of show you all of the indicators that really go into the decision-making process for Wendy and her methodologies and give you a really good idea of kind of what goes into it. Okay, so the first thing that, the, and I do want to note that everything that I'm going to show you is fully automatic. Like all of the buy and sell signals are here on the chart already based on the indicators. You don't really necessarily need to know what they're doing, but I think it helps to understand what they're doing. So I'm going to kind of walk you through what they're doing. Okay, so the first indicator I want to talk about is a, a, a standard CCI Wendy uses in her trading. And as you know, as a, a CCI is an overbought or an oversold indicator. So what she's looking for uh, is she's looking for stocks to either be extremely overbought or extremely oversold. So if we're looking right here, um, just if you if you understand how to read a CCI indicator, if uh, it gets down down below this minus 100 line, it's going to be considered oversold. If it gets a above the 100 line, it's going to be considered overbought. And that's really exactly how she uses it. What she wants to do in her system is she wants to find stocks that are either overbought or that are oversold. And so that's the first step. There's actually more steps that are involved in that, but this is the first thing that we're going to talk about. She's using a standard CCI. If it's overbought, then she's going to look for a change in direction or a change in trend. And to do that, um, she actually uses her next indicator. So right here, you'll notice a, a, a PPO. This is the Kirkland PPO. Uh, PPO stands for Price Performance Oscillator, in case you don't know what that means. And uh, she uh, basically has her custom settings in there. Uh, and what it's looking for is it's looking for a change of direction or a change of momentum or the beginning of a new trend. So, um, and, uh, so for example, the way you would read Wendy's PPO and any other PPO, if you, uh, for that matter, is if you're, in this case, your shorter line, it's red on the screen here, crosses above your longer term line uh, and uh, blue on this screen, that would be maybe the indication a new trend was beginning. Okay, so if we're looking uh, at Google right here, uh, right about this date, uh, we'd look at here and we'd say, okay, this is uh, extremely oversold right now. 
uh, we'd notice that a couple of days later we had maybe the beginning of a new trend that's just signified by this cross. So that's the second thing she's looking at as part of that trade opportunity, as part of what's going on here. Okay. The final indicator she uses is what she calls the Kirkland oscillator. Okay, and that's this bottom, this oscillator here on the bottom. You'll notice it uh, looks like a standard oscillator. It, uh, there is a little bit of a touch zone, which is mostly straight, but it does move just a little bit. And this is the indicator that she uses to kind of help get rid of those whipsaw trades, where it kind of fakes you out, it goes up a little bit, but then comes right back down and you end up kind of paying for it. So um, she uses this as a final confirmation. So if we're looking at Google here again in the same example, we'd see that it's extremely oversold right now. We had that new change of direction. And what we want to confirm this is an, a valid entry signal is we want to confirm, uh, we want it to cross down from be down below to up above this, what she calls a touch zone. And really, that's the core of this system. This is what she's using to kind of get those trades and to kind of do her option trades. So when that happens, when everything falls together on the chart, when you have that overbought, the new change in direction, and the confirmation, what's going to happen is you're going to get a buy chart, buy arrow on your chart automatically. Right here we've got it. Okay, and um, so I'm going to go ahead and I've actually moved this commentary. You'll notice there's a commentary window over here. I've moved it to this buy signal so we can see exactly what our recommendation would be if we were looking at Google right here you know, in time. Okay, and so for uh, right now what we're going to say is uh, we're going to see is we're going to see a little bit of a dashboard. It gives us the value of our CCI, the value, value of average true range, the value of the PPO is bullish right now and the Kirkland oscillator is also bullish right now. Okay. Uh, Everything's matching up, so it's actually giving us a buy opportunity. That's why we have the arrow on the chart. And it gives you a little bit of information that's looking at the CCI, looking at PPO cross. Uh, it's a m new bullish trend direction. The other thing that we, I like to do is I like to kind of put in a lot of information about how to take advantage of this. I think it's very helpful, especially as you use learning Wendy's methodologies, to really kind of be reminded when you have a buy signal what you should do with it. So in this particular case, what we're saying is if you're interested in taking advantage of this long opportunity, you could consider intermediate term call options two to three months before expiration when you're looking at a daily chart. If you're looking at uh, a 60-minute chart, you would look two months out. If you're looking two to three weeks on a 30-minute chart and one to two weeks on a uh, 15 to 10-minute chart. So right now we're looking at a daily chart. So if we're going to place an option, we'd go in and take a look at that option at two to three months out before expiration. Okay. Uh, the delta that we'll be looking for is approximately 60, and that'll usually make it one or two strikes in the money. Okay. Now, once we take advantage of that trade, once we get into that trade, what we want to do is we want to um, place, have a protective stop loss order in place. And in this particular case, we're going to do it at the previous bar's low, okay, which is right here. Okay? Uh, and in the case of Alphabet or Google, 603.13. Okay? Yeah, uh, in addition to that, we probably want to know when else we should get out of this trade. So we would consider taking a profit and getting out of the trade when the Kirkland oscillator reaches an extremely high level, flattens out, and begins to turn down, or when the CCI turns negative, or at least two weeks before the expiration date of the option. Okay? So every time you get a buy signal or a sell signal on the chart, it's going to give you the information of how you should interpret and look at that specific stock. Okay? So this is, um, to, to kind of sum up, I, the reason I'm showing this particular screen is I wanted to kind of give you an idea of everything that's going into it, right? Uh, again, what she's doing is she's helping you find stocks with the highest potential. I'm going to show that a little bit later, but she's uh, identifying the stocks that are at a likely turning point, looking for the trend to begin, and then um, using the Kirkland oscillator or her Kirkland oscillator to protect you from whipsaws. So. Um, in that particular case, that's how it goes together. This is a template that comes as part of the package. This is what we call our full template. And um, the other one, is, there's another template that actually ships as part of the package. And it, it looks very similar. If I, I'm going to go ahead and show you what it looks like. The real difference is, is we call it the clean, the Windy Kirkland clean template. I'm going to apply it to the chart right here. And you'll, the big difference is you'll notice that it 
only shows the Kirkland oscillator as well as the price activity. It doesn't show the other indicators uh, on the chart. So you can use either one depending on kind of what you want to do, um, depending on what works well for you. Okay. Uh, the other thing that's obviously very, very cool, and um, uh, as part of the Metastock integration, obviously, you know, if you're an options trader, if you're an ETF trader, well, let's say if you're an options trader, there's about 4,600 available options that are available in the market that you could take a trade on today. Obviously, the idea behind uh, one of the very powerful things about this particular add-on is the ability to go in and say, instead of showing me 4,600 stocks, or instead of going through 4,600 different optionable stocks, show me the ones that are valuable right now. Show me the ones that actually have a signal today. And that allows us to focus on the stuff that has opportunity instead of focusing on, on all this other stuff that you probably wouldn't want to look at anyway. Okay? And in Metastock, we call that scanning ability the explorer. Okay? And uh, so what I've done... This is our Power Console screen, in case you're not familiar with Metastock. The name of the ex exploration in Metastock is called the WK Automatic Swing Trader. Okay? And you'll notice if I hover over this, it's going to give you some notes in terms of what it's looking for. Okay? And uh, I'm just going to select that. And I've already run this, but uh, I'm also going to select the U.S. Optionable Stocks. So it's going to go through 4,300 stocks and tell me which ones have a valid buy signal or sell signal today. Okay, I can use a time frame. I can change these options over here. For example, you could do a daily scan if you wanted to. If you wanted to run it on an intraday basis, you could go down to like 60 or 30 minutes. Or you could do like a weekly or a monthly scan if you wanted to get a little bit longer term with it. Daily is fine. And then once you've kind of selected that and the list that you want to select, you'll just click on Start Exploration. Okay. Now, I did scan it against the actual stocks. If I wanted to, I could scan against the ETS. We have a list for that. If you're international and you want to look at stocks in London, for example, you can scan for those. We have those. If you're in Asia or Pacific, um, you can scan against Australian stocks or Singapore stocks. I mean, literally, the data that we get is available from Reuters. And they have about 388,000 50 instruments that are available in Metastock as a list that you can scan against. So now you're going to be able to be a, a, now apply the Kirkland methodologies on those instruments that you're interested in, whether it's here in the U.S., whether it's ETFs, whether it's Forex, whether it's uh, Asia-Pacific stuff, whatever it happens to be. Very, very cool. Now, I've already run this. It took about maybe three or four minutes to go through all of the optionable stocks to kind of give us a report. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you what that report looks like. So right here, I'll click on the report. It's going to give us uh, a list. Okay. Now with this list, you'll notice I have the instrument name right here. I have, then I have columns, long, short, average, true range, and close. Okay. And I can sort these. If I just want to look at long opportunities right now in the market, I can just sort them based on long. And that, that'll give us four opportunities there. If I wanted to look at short opportunities, I could just sort them by that. And we'd have quite a few that are available right there. Okay. The other column right here is average true range. And this is how Windy focuses on the biggest opportunities or the the opportunities that have the most potential for growth. I mean, obviously, average true range, what you're looking at is how much a stock moves uh, day to day, the average true range of a stock. So here I can kind of see exactly what those average true ranges are. I can even sort them based on what the average true range is. So if I wanted to kind of really narrow it down to a stock that had a very big potential for growth. I can see what those average true range figures are right here. I can rank them by that. And the biggest shorting opportunity right here today was actually LinkedIn followed by Palo Alto Networks. And of course, we can save these off to a list. We can go in and then actually open them and look at just those that had the opportunity right now, uh, one by one by one. And the thing is, is it's going to save you a ton of time because you're not looking at all 4,300 stocks. You're not then going in and looking to see if they're overbought or oversold and then seeing if they have a new trend. And all that stuff is just done for you. It allows you to say, okay, these are the opportunities. And maybe there's 20 of them today or just a little over 20. But these are the opportunities. Which ones look most applicable for me? It's a very, very cool thing. Okay.
So that's kind of in a nutshell the product. Uh, included with, with the automated swing trader is the Kirkland PPO, the Kirkland oscillator, um, the CCI, the average tree range, are already included in Metastock. So they don't really kind of count on this list, but they do include her Kirkland PPO and her Kirkland oscillator as part of it. You're going to have that expert advisor. The expert advisor, I kind of showed it to you on the screen, it paints the buy and sell signals. It gives you that advice in terms of what you should be doing with the stock uh, when you get the opportunity, what options you should be looking at, where your stop losses should be, all of that kind of stuff. And one of the things that I didn't talk about but is possible is you can actually set the expert to send you an alert, either on screen as a pop-up alert or as an email, which is kind of cool. Uh, you've got the exploration. The exploration is going to go through and mine all of the stocks out there and kind of give you the ones that uh, actually are interesting right now. And then you've got the clean layout and the, the full layout. And that's pretty much what the product includes. One of the things that uh, I really like about this is this is a one-time cost. It does require Metastock to run, but it's a one-time cost of just $4.99. We do offer it with our 30-day money-back guarantee. And if you don't have a copy of Metastock, you should get a copy of Metastock, in my opinion. It's been rated number one in its price category for 25 years in a row. In any case, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to get a, give us a, a call. Uh, the order link is right here on the page. And make sure that you um, um, e uh, feel free to email us with at sales at metastock.com. Uh, with any questions that you have as well. That's it for me today. Appreciate you guys watching the video uh, as always. And uh, I'll see you at the next one.